Hi, Neil again on a survey this afternoon in uh, Northumberland. And what we've got is there's a there's a few little bits and bobs of damp uh, around the property. It's generally pretty sound, but we come into this rear corner. Of, I suppose it's a dining room, and we come into this rear corner. And what we've got, I'll use an electronic moisture meter here to show this. There's our picture here. Now we've got slightly elevated moisture meter readings up to just below the pitcher rail come down it's starting just around about that point and then we come slightly away from the wall obviously up there it's tight to the wall and then we come down obviously we're just getting a little bit sorry, further away from the wall <coughs> But as we get lower down, what we find is we've got this diagonal pattern. Or she's getting closer towards the wall. So what we've got is this diagonal pattern coming down from just below the picture rail, and in effect, it comes down in that direction. Now it's very very common to see lots and lots of this. So we come here, you can see how far off the wall there, probably 300-400 mil. Come back a bit further. So it, we're, you know, we're way off there, we're probably 600 mil off that wall. So you've got this diagonal pattern starting just below the picture rail. Now it's actually quite simple what the problem is. I've seen it hundreds of times, obviously the adjacent or the rear main elevation again there's a picture rail come tight in we're picking up damp the same spot and then we so we've got in effect this damp patch coming down here <clears throat> now I'll show you what it is you see it? there you are so we're looking at that corner as you if you look into the right hand corner of that recess you can see where the damp patches are showing so that's coming from a diagonal pattern from that top left hand underside of the picture reel. So we come outside and what we've got is an abutting yard wall. <coughs> now you can see the condition of the wall. Yeah, actually, obviously it hasn't been very well maintained. You can see again we talk about the black ash mortar. There's your black ash mortar very very common especially around the pit villages but we can see the condition of the wall the brick on edge it's obviously a little bit of a render coating so what we've got now is rear mortar getting in on the top of that brick on edge getting in behind this render which is obviously not in great condition I'll not pull it off so we're getting rid of the rear mortar in there it's sitting behind that render and then all it's going to do is percolate through this solid rear elevation and what you'll typically find is when you get that damp pattern inside there's the top of our wall it'll normally start probably around about 150 mil below below the top of the wall because water is getting in it starts to soak through it's sitting in here and then it'll percolate through this wall this rear main elevation where it's abutting and then you end up with this diagonal pattern on the internal seen it uh, it's not an exaggeration probably to say thousands of times but and what will typically happen is some you know people will identify damp at the base of the wall not go any further with a moisture meter and then they put a damp of course in one meter high the rendering or dry or lining system whichever one they decide to use and then you end up with these damp patches above the line of which they've taken the plaster off uh, because they don't go obviously further up the wall and check the moisture profile but if you come across that elevated readings, you know, up, you can virtually compare it to the wall outside. It will be start about 150 mil below the top of the wall, and then it'll head off in a diagonal pattern on the internal partition wall, uh, or party wall, as we've got in this one. And it's a, it, it's a typical scenario that I've seen many, many times. So uh, internally, it's not too bad. There's very little damp stain, uh, spoiling of the decoration. A simple solution is on that top wall, 
uh, which you know we played around with this for years and then we seemed to find something that worked effectively and what we'd recommend is take the brick on edge off 1.5 meters back from the rear main elevation line that wall with a, a lead took create a flashing took it up into the rear main elevation then put your brick on edge back and it's, 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 it seems to be very very effective we, we did hundreds and hundreds of these uh, you know, it, it obviously what it's stopping is that the water pooling in behind that wall and per permeating through the wall. So just a little one, if you come across it, these ele distinct elevated readings, yeah, a lot higher than you would expect. Take a, uh, take a look outside, and if you've got an abutting yard wall, almost certainly going to be a contributing factor to it, especially when it's rendered, as in this instance. We can see the render isn't very good. I hope that makes sense. Okay, thanks a lot now. Bye.